Hello again, everybody. My name is Pinky Plankton, and today we're going to be talking about that awesome sea creature, the sea turtle. Before we get started, make sure you go on our website, mermaidofheltonhead.com backslash education, and print out the fill in the blank and multiple choice worksheet to work on during or after the video. Now, here are a few things you should know before we talk about the special sea turtles we have here on Hilton Head Island. Sea turtles have hard shells called carapaces, which is what protects their super soft bodies. They also have spines, which makes them vertebrates. Unlike our friends, the hermit crab, sea turtles stay in the same shell their whole lives because their spine is actually attached to it and it grows at the same rate that they do. Also, sea turtles are cold-blooded, but breathe air, which makes them reptiles. Sea turtles can hold their breath for hours. I can hold mine for like 30 seconds, which is not a very long time. Sea turtles also have a beak, which they use to grab their food like a bird does. They eat jellyfish and seaweed, which is great for my friend Mermaid Nina, who lives in the water. Because if there are more sea turtles, that means less jellyfish in the water to sting her. Or those of us who like to hang out in the water just to play. We actually have a plastic bag ban on the island, which means grocery stores and other stores can't give out plastic grocery bags. That is because if a plastic bag gets in the water, the way it floats around makes it look kind of like a jellyfish. So if a turtle who doesn't have the best eyesight sees the bag, it's gonna eat it and that'll make it really sick. So the best way to keep plastic bags out of the ocean is by remembering to bring your reusable bags to the store when you go. Another thing that humans use that can be bad for sea turtles are cigarettes. Mermaid Nina, over the course of just a month, found enough cigarette butts on the beach to construct a life-size sea turtle replica out of cigarettes. You can see it at the Hilton Head Marina over on Jenkins Road. The big problem with cigarettes is that they've got lots of nasty chemicals in them that aren't really great for humans either. And when those chemicals get in the water, they can make creatures really sick. So it's important to keep those off the beach as well. Most of the sea turtles that we see on Hilton Head Island are loggerhead sea turtles, or as it's known by its scientific name, the Caretta Caretta, which sounds kind of like a fancy coffee. Hilton Head Island is a special place because the loggerhead sea turtles like to move or migrate here during sea turtle season, which is between May and October. During those months, the mama sea turtles will come up on land and create a nest or clutch and lay over 100 eggs. This past year, we have a record number of sea turtle nests on the island and had over 600 nests on our beaches. Can you believe it? That's a lot of counting. Now, when a baby sea turtle, or as we call them, hatchlings, hatches from its egg, it will crawl to the ocean by following the light of the moon. This is called imprinting. Here on Hilton Head Island, we take our sea turtle season very seriously. A big problem which we have tried to fix with a few laws, is that people were leaving their outdoor lights on at night. And those lights would scare the mama sea turtles so they wouldn't come up on land to lay their eggs. The lights would also cause a problem for the baby sea turtles. Cause like we said a few minutes ago, the baby sea turtles follow the light of the moon to get to the water. And if somebody has their porch lights on, they might follow those instead and get stuck in a hole or in someone's swimming pool. And sea turtles do not like swimming pools. 
So now we have a lights out policy on the island that at 10 o'clock, all the porch lights have to be turned off. This way, the mama sea turtles won't be afraid to come on land and the hatchlings can find their way safely to the ocean. So, some easy ways you can help the sea turtle population when you come to visit the island are by turning off your outdoor lights, like porch lights off at night. Two, when you go to the beach, if you dig a hole, which is a ton of fun, I do it too, you should fill them in before you leave. Because if you're a teeny tiny, like a baby sea turtle, and you come across a hole that's this big, oh my goodness, and you fall in, it's like trying to climb Mount Everest to get out. It's gonna be so hard. And that leaves them vulnerable to predators, which is not what we want. And the last really important way you can help sea turtles is by bringing your reusable bags to the stores and stop using the plastic bags that they give you. Also, not littering is a really great idea because hatchlings or baby sea turtles are very curious. And if they find a piece of trash on the beach, they're going to eat it and then they'll get sick. So if you see trash on the beach, you would be a super stellar person and help the hatchlings out if you pick it up and throw it away. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll join us for our next video where we'll talk about Mermaid Nina's friends, the dolphins. Bye for now, y'all.